Thank you for tuning in my YouTube channel and for subscribing if you have. I'm here in my home drum cave where I keep most of my drum collection. I also have a small studio at Music Hill in Waterloo where I teach drummers. This is my 1977 Slingerland mahogany finish drum set. I recently spent about a year, little by little, restoring the finish on these babies. It was totally worth it to me. We have a history together. I first met this drum set in 1983. I saw them at the Music Corner, a store in Waterloo, Iowa. And uh, they were used, and uh, the manager there, Steve Tillipaw, told me that he had originally sold them new in 1977 and recently taken them back in on a trade. Over the next few years, I played a lot of gigs with these drums. I was in a couple of different bands using them. I used them to record. I was never disappointed. Then one day around 1990, I suffered a lapse of judgment and I felt I needed to trade them in on a new set of Pearl drums. Big mistake. Nothing against Pearl. I missed my babies. By some miracle, a few years later, my cousin Mike Flack, who is also a drummer, found this whole kit at the St. Vincent de Paul store in Cedar Falls, Iowa, and he bought them all back for $40. How did Mike know they were my kit? How do I know it was my kit? Could have been another mahogany set in Cedar Falls, Iowa. I doubt it. Well, I had drilled two holes in the side of the bass drum shell, and I installed an XLR jack with an internally mounted microphone. Save setup time at gigs. Sometime later, I saw Mike playing them at a gig, and I was shocked because they were all painted. Painted over mahogany. Uh, Mike told me that the bass drum was already painted red when he found it at St. Vincent de Paul. And at $40, he didn't have much to lose by experimenting with paint. He had a combination of mismatched drums, Ludwig, Slingerland, Pearl, Rogers. So he wanted to make one big kit that all had a unifying theme. I called it the Jamaican paint scheme, as in, Jamaican me sad with that paint scheme, man. Fast forward to the spring of 2018, I was visiting Mike at his house one day and uh, he had other drums and the Slingerland was just taking up room in his small apartment. So uh, I said to Mike, you know, I think that'd be a good candidate for a restoration project. Uh, why don't you sell me those drums and I'll refinish them. Mike just said, cool idea man, you can just have them. So he gave them to me. It turns out that that was sadly only about four months before Mike died suddenly of a heart attack. Um, I had the drums stripped down to the bare shells and he saw them before he passed away and I'm just sorry that he never got to see the finished project because I, I know he would have approved. Go. When I put them on, I'm raring to go. When I put 